meet Austria's new chancellor. 49-year-old Karl Nehammer was until now interior minister and is considered a hardliner on migration issues. He is also likely to continue Austria's restrictive anti-COVID measures, which include the current full lockdown and the announced vaccine mandate. On Friday morning, he announced his party's decision to make him the new chancellor as well as party leader. For me, as the new head of the People's Party, it is important that we hold our lines, that we say clearly what is necessary when it comes to the question of asylum and migration, when it comes to the question of security for the people of our country. The past 24 hours in Austria have been eventful. First, ex-Chancellor and People's Party leader Sebastian Kurz withdrew from politics for good, giving the birth of his son as the reason. But ongoing corruption investigations against him and his team most likely played a role. I'm personally looking forward to that day, even though it may take years, when I'll be able to prove in court that the accusations against my person are simply false. Kurz's decision spurred a sudden shift in the balance of power within his party. Current Chancellor Alexander Schallenberg also resigned as head of government. And less than two months since the last change of chancellor, Austria is once again due to have a new leader. This is all a mess. We no longer know who is actually leading our politics. We as the population don't know what is really happening behind the doors. And we can only hope that the decision will be positive. I can't judge Karl Nehammer. He doesn't come across as very positive to me and he doesn't seem very friendly. But maybe he will be Chancellor. <laughs> the swearing-in ceremony of future Chancellor Karl Nehammer is supposed to take place in the next few days. The exact date is not yet clear. It also remains to be seen how voters will react to the ongoing instability in government positions. All this in the middle of an unpopular lockdown. Johannes Blechberger, CGTN, Vienna.